Another way of sampling is to do something called a systematic sample. So when you've already collected all your data and it's in a list, or maybe it's somebody else's list that you're using, then to do this systematically means you pick every, every so often from the list. So it might be that I'm going to pick every fifth thing from the list, or maybe every tenth, or every twentieth. depends how many you need. The way to work out how often to pick depends on how big your list is and how many things you want. So if I've got 180 things and I want 30 of them, then what I need to do is do 180 divided by 30. Now 180 divided by 30 is 6, so this means I'm going to pick every sixth thing from the list. It's people in this case, so every sixth person on the list. You should go from the first six, pick one of those six people at random. So I'm going to use a dice. So that says I pick the first person from my list, and then every sixth person after that. So I should mark the first person, and then six people later on, that's person number seven. Then another six people later on, that's going to be person 13. And then another six, that would be person 19. And I do that throughout my whole list. And by doing that, I'll end up with a total of 30 people, like I wanted in the first place. So, key points for sampling in a systematic style. You need to have a list of people. It is very easy. To work out how often to pick, you do the total number of things in your list and divide it by the sample size you want. If that comes out as a decimal, then you should round down. Systematic sampling is good, providing your list doesn't have a recurring pattern of some sort. To avoid bias, it needs to be a fairly random list. 